there are a lot of ways to create presentations and things that people will look at. But if you want to break away from the mold of slides, check out a site like PictoChart where you can create infographics. An infographic combines the best elements of pictures with information uh, in an easily digestible format. So we go ahead and click login, and then you'll have the sign in with Google button right here. It'll walk you through the process of getting to PictoChart. And then if you haven't been signed in before, it wants to know some information about you, but you don't need to put that in. So you can go ahead and just skip that at the bottom right, and you can start creating. So there are a few different types of formats that you can use. Infographic is really built for the web, which is more than likely how you're going to be sharing this anyways. So that's where we'll start. And you'll see how there are different templates as always. Create your own. Do some design work. It's good for you. So when you load up PictoChart, there will be a few things to see. Number one, your infographic will be here. Then on the left are the different things you can use to edit it. So you have your graphics, shapes, lines, icons, photos, and photo frames. Uploads, you can upload images. Backgrounds, different kinds of backgrounds that you can use for your infographic. Your text boxes. And then other tools, which includes maps and charts. Uh, one of the things I want to mention right off the bat is when you're talking about things like energy, you could do something like a world map. And then you can edit the map. And then you can do some different things with these countries. So you could change the color of countries that maybe specialize in certain types of power or highlight the ones that use the most fossil fuels, things like that. And then when you do that, let's find some big ones that really stand out here. You can start to see how things change a little bit. Oh, Belgium's a tiny country. I'm not sure why I chose that one, but you get the point. And then for data visualization, you can actually have a caption on hover, but you can turn that off if you don't like it. And then area value map represent areas of different shades of color based on data value. So uh, that probably won't be something you'll do for this one. Uh, and don't worry about the population. That really doesn't actually make any sense. I think they're just putting some numbers in there for you. Uh, so that's one thing you can have is a map. So as you build your infographic, uh, you have these different sections called blocks. So I just drag this onto a second block. If there's elements of a block you don't like and want to get rid of, uh, you can delete them. If you want to create a new block, on the left side here, you can add a block and then you can move your blocks around or you can copy them if you like them. And then under the settings, you can change the width and the height of a block if you want to style it differently. And then these are just elements that you can click and move around. You'll notice that your settings are on the top in terms of alignment and colors and different things like that if you wanted to trash them. If you need more text, you can pull that out over here. This includes uh, some different frames that you can use as well for your text. And as I mentioned, graphics, uh, one of the really nice graphics features is you have these photo frames, which I think are just exceptional and could be used a whole lot more effectively. So there are some people frames, which you probably don't need, uh, but there are some good ones over here too. So let's choose these numbers. So I'm just going to click and get these out here. But here's how the photo frames work. So I have these numbers. So I'm trying to say 87%. Notice how when I drag that I get some orange handles. Those are showing me that my things are lined up, which is important. So this is using a photo and then it's shading it with just the number. 
So if you double click on that, it's going to show you what photo is behind there. And so you can unmask it. And then it kind of goes back to normal, which you don't want. So I'm going to control Z to undo. So if you wanted to change what photos on here, then you would drag and drop a photo onto that. So like if we're talking about water power, I'm going to take this waterfall, drag it right onto that eight, and now it's going to mask it and it's there. Notice how it's really simple to do that masking. So I really wanted to stress that. So those are kind of neat tools there as well. Like I mentioned, there are shapes and lines, so you can emphasize different pieces. And then there are also icons as well, which you can use to make your point about different things. And of course, you can change the sizes. When you are done with it, then uh, you can simply click on Save to make sure that everything you've done is saved. You can edit the name by clicking up here. And then you can share by clicking on the blue share button. If your name didn't save, you type it in there. And then down here in this section, go ahead and make it public. And then here is the link to your infographic and that's what you would turn in you want to make sure that uh, your first name and last initial is on here somewhere so that we know it is yours and that is pretty much all there is to picto chart remember your rule of thirds and just making sure that things are spaced out well so that the design looks good i did not do a great job with that i know you will have fun